All right, before we get into the change of command, um, before I relinquish command of the International Space Station, can you grab that cable there and maybe pull that out of the way? I want to uh, um, uh, do one quick thing. Uh, I have the honor, being a retired Army aviator, to present a very special award to another Army aviator, uh, T.J. Creamer, who's been an Army aviation uh, officer for going on 27 years. Um, and today I have the honor to present T.J. Uh, with a silver Order of St. Michael, which is an award uh, that uh, is given uh, to very few aviators for exemplary service in Army aviation. So, T.J., before we go on any farther and before I relinquish command, I would like to uh, honor you with this award. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I, I tell you, it's a, it's a real honor to receiving this from you, and uh, it's been a good, good time here. It's been a good career, and thanks for being a mentor the entire time. All right, well deserved. Congratulations. Yeah, but you can, don't cover it up. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Suichi. And now Suichi's going to join us. <laughs> and, uh, now I can, <laughs> and I can join us, and uh, we'll uh, execute this change of command. Uh, before I get into it, though, I, I uh, would like to uh, uh, once again acknowledge uh, the team that really makes this happen. Um, it's not the, the folks you see here on camera on station. It's the uh, international team around the world. Um, and uh, for, for me in particular, leading Houston leading the way, uh, for Max Moscow leading the way uh, with uh, significant teams in both places. And we would like to express our appreciation and our thanks uh, for uh, those teams uh, who have made uh, our flight so successful. I'd like to thank our lead flight director in Houston, uh, David Korth, uh, and also our increment manager, uh, Pete Hasbrook. Um, I'd like to thank the, uh, the MER and all the folks uh, beyond the MER that do all the, uh, the work behind the scenes. and. Uh, uh, too often we give them more work than uh, probably what they deserve um, and much more work than we will ever know um, and we would like to uh, to thank them uh, for that. We'd also like to uh, congratulate everybody and thank everybody around the world as I mentioned not only in Moscow but also in Japan and ESA and uh, Canada uh, for their contributions in this international partnership. It's been quite a year we even go back before uh, our arrival uh, over the last year transitioning to a crew of six um, and uh, we're still working the kinks out but I think overall it's been very successful thanks to uh, the crews that have gone before us um, and again all the work of the people that have uh, uh, made, made it so and made it happen um, across the International Space Station program as well as uh, the uh, Space Shuttle program and, uh, and the, the, the folks that support the Soyuz and the Progress vehicles as well as HTV um, uh, for this last year. Uh, it's amazing when you look back a year ago uh, and we were looking ahead uh, at what we had in the plans that we actually accomplished it all. And uh, I think uh, Expedition 20 was able to say the same thing and 21 was able to say the same thing and 22 now we're able to say that we've been able to accomplish all of it. So again, thank you for, um, for all of that to the entire team. Um, I would like to thank uh, um, the, the, uh, the crew here uh, for su supporting uh, me and uh, for actually being really autonomous. I mean, I didn't have to do anything. Everybody is a self-starter here. Everybody did a, a very a good job um, in everything that uh, came before us, uh, not even well beyond uh, things that were asked. I mean, everybody just took the initiative. Um, Oleg, of course, you came with a lot of experience um, and uh, you made great contributions in, in from end to end of the space station based on your previous experience. And even through today, I continue to take uh, your advice on things and learn new things from you. So thank you for that. And uh, TJ and Suichi, you guys have done great. Suichi, it's your second flight, um, first long duration flight. And uh, I would like to congratulate uh, you on uh, you're off to a, a great start in this long duration flight. You really took charge of the Kibo facility um, and really across the U.S. segment in particular, 
um, and uh, you've been a pleasure to work with, and you've represented Japan very well. So congratulations to you, and thank you for your great work. And TJ, I know you've waited a long time uh, for this flight, and uh, you are a natural up here. Uh, and I congratulate you. That's uh, especially important to me, being a fellow Army aviator and uh, representing the Army and Army aviation in particular well. You have, you've done that, and uh, you've also been a great pleasure to work with. And uh, Max and I leave the station in good hands uh, with you. Um, Max, you have uh, been uh, a, especially a pleasure uh, to, to fly with, to train with, uh, first backing up uh, Expedition 19 and 20, um, and then Prime 21, 22. Before we launched, uh, every time we got asked, uh, or I got asked about you, I said you were like a veteran already. And that uh, I meant that then, and you demonstrated it since then. Uh, you, uh, and it means right now I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you are prepared for another flight. <laughs> but first, don't think about that, but first uh, we'll go home and join our families and uh, take, uh, take the break that, uh, that is deserving of our families. Speaking of our families, uh, they're the ones uh, that are often uh, sometimes not thought of uh, by everybody, but they're also the ones that probably make the greatest sacrifices in all of this. And, and all of us here have a family behind us that's especially important to us. Uh, so I would like on behalf of the entire crew to thank uh, the families and the support and the sacrifices that they have made uh, in that. Now I have one other small presentation. It's a NASA tradition it, that um, when, when you fly long duration flights, they have a 100-day patch, they call it, even though everybody flies longer than 100 days. It's the equivalent of the Mach 25 patch that the space shuttle crews earn when they, when they fly. And, uh, but even though it's a NASA thing, I want to give it to, uh, to Suichi here. Um, so there's the 100-day the patch for Suichi, and uh, very well deserved. And Max, I would also like to present one to you, and I hope Thank that you, you wear it proudly on your uh, flight suit. And uh, again, well done. And I look forward to finishing up a very successful flight with you tomorrow. And TJ, I'd also like to give one to you. I have something else on here, and you seem to be the big recipient of, uh, of things today, <laughs> but it just worked out that way. It's also a, a tradition in NASA that goes back to the Apollo days of, uh, of wearing an astronaut pin. And when you uh, enter the astronaut corps, you, uh, you are awarded a silver astronaut pin. When you fly your first flight, you are awarded a gold astronaut pin. And uh, pinned into this 100-day patch, I have your gold astronaut pin, which uh, Max and I brought with us on Soyuz TMA-16. So, and I wanted to present that to you on orbit and not have to wait till after <laughs> landing. So thank you. Congratulations and well done. With that, you want to say a few words, Oleg? Yes, yeah, please. So first of all, I would like to say thank you, Jeff. Thank you, yeah, excellent crew, Max, and you for uh, time we spent together with uh, Expedition 22 time frame. Uh, you demonstrate us excellent experience, excellent leadership, and good example being an excellent commander. Thank you for leaving station in such excellent condition. We'll try to follow your way and keep it in a, in a good shape. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Max. And Godspeed. Thank you. And Godspeed yeah. to you all, too, in Expedition 23. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we're all talked out. I, yeah. I, I took the, uh, the <laughs> most of the time. Sorry about that. Well, Oleg, I am ready to relinquish command of the International Space Station to you and to begin Expedition 23. And Jeff, I am ready to assume command of the International Space Station. Thank you. Well, I stand relieved. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you.